This is the STEAM Podcast, Strength Through Expressive Arts Mentoring. No matter where you are in your journey as a musical artist, you're always looking to move forward, but you might not know what's next for you. STEAM is about what's next. We're going to give you ideas, conversations, solutions. You have the confidence. This is about strategy. Hello, and welcome to the STEAM Podcast. STEAM is Strength Through Expressive Arts Mentoring. My name is Thomasina Winslow, and I created the strength-based program STEAM for youth who are at risk are incarcerated to imbue a certain level of confidence and life skills utilizing the study of music. The STEAM project is strength-based, but focusing on your strengths as musicians who want to move into the music industry and get yourselves started as musicians of note. If you are joining us for the first time, you will hear our conversational style that is full of information and some fun. Our hope is that you will feel part of the conversation and join us. If you are coming back, welcome back and thank you. We are five, four, three, two. Hello, everybody. Hello, we everybody. Are here. We're back. Hi, Lori, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Thomasina? I am doing well. I'm so glad awesome. that you're here. Me too. I'm glad you're yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, we're back. It's been a, a little while. Let's do yeah. a minute, as the kids say. Yeah. It's been yeah. a minute since we've been on here. But yes. now we're on video, which is kind of exciting. Yes, and that's why it's 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 been a minute because I'm just like video. Oh my goodness, you know. Uh, and then I said, "Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and do that." So we're excited to be here. I want to first of all, though, uh, just recognize at the time of this recording, we are still in the midst of uh, a, a furious pandemic and. Uh, I want to wish everybody uh, continued good health and to also say that, uh, you know, I'm really saddened by the lives we've lost worldwide and in the United States here. Um, So I want to acknowledge that and uh, I hope everybody will stay well and be well. Um, But as we move on here, this is part one of a two-part episode on a, on a subject that I have found, uh, it, you know, creeps into conversations with uh, fellow musicians, students, and just in general um, on other professions other than uh, the, the music, just in general that entrepreneurial spirit and developing that uh, and it's called what everybody would recognize uh, this phrase leap of faith what is a leap of faith and i wanted to get into that a little bit more and really ask that question what is a leap of faith what is a leap of what is a leap of faith to you i know what it is to me but what's it yeah to? well it, it seems that for me, I, I have come up with the definition that a leap of faith is moving away from your comfort zone. We've all heard that. But what is the comfort zone? And that is a place of knowing and moving from knowing to the unknown. And what can we do to combat those fears that come up? Anytime that you are leaving the workforce and going into your own independent uh, wealth building uh, thing that you want to do and and think of it as wealth building because you have to change your paradigm from collecting wage earning. Yes. Wage earning to, to wealth building. And there's different things that you need to do to think those things through. Um, 
at any time that you're moving out of the workforce to pursue an, an independent venture, uh, you're going to be faced with fears. So um, what do you do to prepare for the unknown? And what is the unknown? The unknown is, okay, how is this going to work? What do I do if it doesn't work? Do I you know, reset and continue on? Or do I just leave it and come back to it at some other time or go back to what I know? Right, retreat. All of, yeah, retreat. Uh, but regroup. I, I think that regroup is the better word for that because there comes a time, especially with music, I've, I've noticed there's no there's no end game for me. I, you know, it's what I went to school for. It's what I, I did as a child and what I grew up to do and then developing it more now. And I realized I'm not going to stop doing this. This is not something I'm going to stop doing. But when I decided to do it, it was definitely uh, that uh, leap of faith. So given that definition I have thought in terms of what kinds of leaps of faith, and that's really getting detailed, I realize, but I think that there are three different kinds. Um, there is the blind leap of faith. That is the one that we think of, I think when we hear leap of faith, is a blind leap of faith. There are very few people who do that successfully, but there are a few people who do that successfully. I'm not going to take the success of anybody from them um, when they were talking about how they did what they did. How many times have you heard, I had $20 in my pocket when I arrived in LA and, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> now, now I'm a TV writer. And yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so kudos to those folks, you know. But that is not the norm. No, usually the blind leap of faith is because there's some drastic sudden change, whether it's self-induced or it's brought on by, say, losing a job that you thought was your career. Mm. And it can throw you for a loop. And you weren't thinking about the possibility of this. I mean, I feel like this pandemic that we're in, in, in 2020, which is, you know, we're recording this on, on August 31st of night of uh, 2020. And we, you know, we've been through uh, just an incredible experience in terms of reinterpreting ourselves. So many yes. of us, because yes. everything has changed, but for someone, it might be losing a job. It might be impulsively leaving a job because you yes. can't take it anymore and you haven't mm -hmm. thought any further ahead. But yeah. I think that, yeah. So that just struck me when I was kind of thinking about what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So that's one way. And, and yes. that requires a whole different interpretation of how you proceed. Right. And, but then you've got these two other kinds of what's yeah. the second one. The now? second one is the planned leap of faith. You do plan to do something. You do plan to take someday, that. Maybe well, someday. <laughs> you plan yes, someday. Maybe, maybe someday you plan to do it and you do it. Uh, and then you have to create the substance that's going to help you maintain it. You know, um, it's slightly better than the blind leap, but uh, you have a desire list, but you don't really have a strategic uh, step strategy step uh, sort of uh, sort of list. So the difference between a plan and strategy, strategy is, I believe, part of the plan. Uh, if you, you know, plans, people are like, well, you know, planned something and it failed and, but strategies are much more. It's uh, like a long game, isn't it? Like you're sort of looking is. at what, where, so you're going to take that first step, but your strategy is going to show you how to adjust because you have a goal that's not just getting it started, it's keeping it going. Yes. And, and yes. maybe morphing it into something else down the road. So that, That's right. That's yeah. right. So 
you know, the planned leap. Okay, I plan to go to Los Angeles. I think, and you know, we're just using Los Angeles as a as an example because it's one of the best, you know, uh, for what people want and where people want to be successful. I I plan to go to Los Angeles, and I'm going to save up eight thousand dollars. And beyond that, you know, I'm going to use that eight thousand dollars or five thousand or whatever it is. It's more than twenty, you know, uh, to either get another job or pitch whatever it is that I have, you know, to 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 pitch. And like I said, there are other professions involved with this. You know, there's the idea of being a therapist for an organization to getting your own private practice. I, there's, I, I've known people who uh, went from teaching or being a teaching assistant to deciding to have a uh, childcare business uh, privately. So there are different examples i don't want to give the people the idea that it's all about music but i am a musician you know um and also i i have seen and taken different ideas from people in different professions that i will uh, also talk about as we move the last one that i want to get to is the strategized leap of faith that is highly detailed, I think. And as we go here, I am writing an ebook based on that idea of the strategized leap of faith. And in that ebook, yeah, you might see some of it. Uh, we want to give you a, a free download of a, a preview of the worksheet for that just so that you can have an idea of what you are doing, what you want to do in your dream, how to implement those things that you want to do for your dream. So uh, that will be made available with this episode. And when we get to part two, we'll discuss the strategize leap of faith more in depth and um, We'll have, hopefully, I will have a, a date for you as to when the ebook will be available. Um, and then we'll talk more about what you can do and how we can help you uh, to uh, set up that strategy. That's what I wanted to get to today. It's kind of the warm up for what we're going to be discussing in part two. And I want everybody to really benefit from this because leap of faith is very a very timely subject now uh, with what Hillary was just saying about how we have to reinvent ourselves and what we are presenting out to the world being under threat yeah. uh, of, of a pandemic so the leap of faith without even getting into the strategy, separating from that, I, I want you all to have that faith. Faith is knowing, is a knowing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not just whether or not we're talking about religious faith, the faith, spiritual faith. It is a knowing that you are coming to. Mm -hmm. And I want everyone to, as we move on to uh, part two to look at the download and really think about where it is that you want to go and how you want to benefit from the knowing faith. So with that in mind, I thank you so much for being with us. Uh, if you have any questions or our comments or you want to check us out uh, email us um you've got that uh, steam 77 cast at gmail.com
Yes, and please, you know, feel free to ask questions. We'll have some uh, a form of a membership that you can join, but we're developing that as we go. But the main thing is understanding what type of leap of faith that you are implementing in your life. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to digging more into that in the next part of this episode. So in the meantime, wear a mask, wash your hands. Yes. Stay safe, stay strong, and uh, we will see. And keep creating. Keep creating. Keep creating. Absolutely. Keep creating. The world needs you to keep creating. Yes. The world needs us to keep creating, and that is why we are here. Yep. So... All right. Well, we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, Thomasina. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. This podcast is a part of the STEAM project. STEAM, Strength Through Expressive Arts Mentoring, is a registered trademark and a subdivision of Winslow Productions. Arts Mentoring Podcast, copyright 2020, all rights reserved.